Hello everybody, my name is Michael and in this tutorial I will show you how you can add a key cards um, to your project and open the door if you have a key card. So let's get started. So I opened up on Real Engine right here. I will make a new project, a first person based template based project and I will name it key keys keys okay and doors no let's create our project so I got um, our this is a request from a dev I saw on the forums so far in a lynching um keypad entry ex example keypad next to door enter correct four digit counter opens i want to make a tutorial on this uh, you can uh, you can uh, go to tesla devs uh, uh, youtube channel and search for this but i will do for the key cards um, by the way i will put your link uh, in the description below to download both the keypad entry and the key cards so now uh, we have uh, our guy right here i will delete this players network player start delete this card and delete these texts i will uh, put our player start i will add the cube right here this uh, will be smaller and this will be our key you can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, add a mesh you, your own mesh I'll add uh, this uh, cube so, and now let's make a material for it I'll, oh not a blueprint class a material I'll name it uh, key mat key mat uh, I'll add a vector parameter this will be the color, a color parameter. And this will be just right this. Now we got the color parameter. This will be air. Another color parameter. This will be M. Roughness and metallic, by the way. Roughness will be mm, minus one and metallic will be like one or point five. Let's um, compile our material or we'll hit apply and save. Okay, it looks pretty nice. Now let's apply it to our key now let's uh, add a box trigger and this is the whole thing for now we now we will work on our character blueprint and we will add some variables okay so here is it, our trigger box. Now let's save the map and let's go into our first person character blueprint. So on event tick, we'll add this event tick right here. We'll make a few variables. So, uh, has keys can unlock door and keys number the keys number will be an integer but the rest of them will be uh, just both so um, on event tick we'll check uh, if this is less or equal to another integer and our other integer will be zero we'll make a branch 
if uh, there are no keys then we will um, set our variables has keys and again has keys so if we have no keys then uh, we will set keys has keys to false and if if uh, is not equal to zero equal or less than zero then we will set has keys to true now we will make a sequence right here we'll drag those down a little bit connect this right here and we'll make another branch I'll explain you something later wha why we are doing uh, this all this stuff and we are ju not just uh, on a when you overlap this trigger box you play a door animation I will show you why in a few seconds and if has keys if he hasn't got any keys then uh, we'll set can unlock door to false and uh, if he has keys then we'll set can unlock door to true we'll comment this out then we'll say um, check if the player has got uh, any keys has got keys now we should uh, make a reference to our character in the um, level blueprint so open level blueprint uh, event begin play cast to first and first person character get player character promote this to a variable so car ref and now um, we'll just uh, select this trigger box Add event collision on actor begin overlap. If uh, the actor who is overlapping this trigger box is the player, so get player pawn. Then we will. Um, do some stuff over there so first the first thing we have to do is get our character reference and uh, add one so get um, keys number plus set keys number okay so just like this okay so okay and um, after that we will get our key now oh, for me is the cube create the reference to it and say destroy actor you may want to add a delay between uh, the overlapping and the uh, actor destruction when you destroy the actor but uh, that's fine for now and um, we'll uh, make an event tick we'll get our character reference we'll get our variable um, 
can un unlock door we'll make a branch right here and uh, now we have to make a door animation so it uh, plays an animation when it goes uh, uh, 90 degrees when it turns 90 degrees it rotates anyway we go mm, you should import the starter content by the way so enable it or just add new add feature or content pack content pack starter content at project and um, here under the props folder we have um, our door static mesh I will add a collision it has on by default All right. Now we'll drag it into the scene. We'll rotate it um, 100 degrees. And uh, you may want to add a wall uh, right here or add a door frame um, which is right here. So it looks uh, more realistic but uh, now we'll do just for uh, testing purposes so um, right here okay B90 so keep in mind from 180 to 90 now we will add the matinee so go to cinematic set matinee oh, I don't know why mm -hmm. yeah Final. Okay, so um, um, create an empty group, a new empty group, name it door. Now go ahead and in the world outliner, so make sure uh, you have this uh, tab right here. Go ahead and select the SM door and make sure it is highlighted in the world outliner this is very important uh, now going to the matinee just right click on the doors actors add selected actors now you we have our uh, actors right click create new movement track and uh, this should have uh, you make sure you in you took a snap so uh, it is more accurate like this it goes exactly one second we want to have this animation only one second so uh, the f uh, we make a key right here at zero you can press this button or you can hit enter and press it and now we go uh, to the end or to one we add another key and we move this door 90 degrees now I'll show you what happens right now it plays a nice looking animation so let's close the matinee let's save and right now into your level blueprint make a reference not to the SM door and to the matinee actor which is right here uh, just make sure you select it and go ahead and create a reference to it now play uh, so if the player can uh, act can unlock the door then it will play this nice animation and the door opens we save control s or file save new editor window play um, now we get our key, it disappears and it opens the door. If we don't get our key, we can't open the door. So now, uh, this is not finished yet, I wanted to show you something, why we did all this stuff and uh, we just, we didn't just, uh, I don't know, um, one actor begin overlap, uh, met in actor play animation. Uh, so we did all this stuff with variables and integers and booleans 
because um, uh, if you want to add a key uh, so the number of the keys uh, shows on the screen I will make a user widget not a widget num keys UBP widget blueprint um, add a text right here make sure it is just like that and the font will be higher not just no, like this and the text justification will be center and this will be zero by default but we will change this right now so bind create bi binding then now go into the event graph, event construct, class to first person character, get player character, promote this to a variable, so car ref. Now into the get takes zero. Get our car reference, get our keys number. Uh, if we just convert integer to text, it uh, is not the best way, so go ahead and say to string, integer to string, and from string to uh, literal name, to text. Anyway. Okay. So let's see, uh, oh, uh, now into your hood, so world settings, first person game mode, first person hood, right here, on events, begin play, <coughs> we create a widget blueprint, the owning player will be player controller, the widget will be keys number, number keys. Then we will add to viewport. Comment this out and say you uh, number of keys. Go ahead and play. We have our keys number right here, so it's zero for the moment. When we get this key, it will be one and the door opens. So this is why we did all this stuff. And we didn't just, uh, well, two, because we didn't destroy uh, in the level blueprint. We should also destroy the trigger box, so make sure you destroy it. Uh, trigger box. Trigger. Trigger. Okay, trigger box. Compile, save. So, guys, this is the reason we did all this stuff with variables. So, one, but not two anymore, so just one, and the door opens. Perfect. This is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I will put you a download link for the project and also for the keypad entry project. I will send you a download link in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, good luck with your projects and see you next time.